Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be very exciting since cruising is back. I thought it'd be a great way for us to introduce the cruise apps. So if you haven't heard of them or if you've never used them, I'm going to walk you through this um, with this video. It is two parts and it will help you to keep in touch with like the time while you're on the ship. Sometimes your, your watch or your phone may be in a different time zone. It'll help you keep up with the activities that are on the ship, as well as communicate with other people if you're a part of a group. So we are going to jump right in. First off, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to the Google Play Store and download the apps. So there's going to be two of them. This is a two-part video. The first one is the Royal Caribbean app, as you see here. And the second one is going to be Shipmates. Now, Royal Caribbean has several different apps that you can download. Make sure you're getting the correct one. And I'm going to show you step-by-step uh, -step on what to do. I already have it downloaded on my phone, but I'll take you through the Google Play Store. So it doesn't matter if you have one of those expensive iPhones like my kids do, or if you are a teen Android baby like we are so hold on we're going to show you how to go through the google play store and download the app okay so what you want to do is find the google play store on your phone so once you find the google play store app you're going to click that you will go up to the top where the search feature is and you're going to start typing out royal caribbean and when you start putting it in, it's going to come up. So you're looking for Royal Caribbean International. So this one here. And mine is already installed. So what you're going to do is click install. And then you're going to go in and put in the information. And we're going to open. Okay, so once you open the app, you're going to see the ship's time up here. And over to this side, you're going to see the little icon where it's almost like a text message. If you click there, we're going to show you what that's going to do. This is going to help you to communicate with other people on the ship. All right, and it says stay connected during your cruise. So some of the features that I'm going to show you today will not work unless you're on the boat. But this will allow you to uh, chat with other people that are on the boat. If you're a part of a group, if you meet friends on the boat, you guys want to get together and go do an excursion, something like that. This will work at that time and it allows you to chat with them. So just to get out of it, click your OK. All right, so the next feature is going to be go to the little boat that's here and we're going to click that. I think that's the page we're already on. No. Okay, so this shows the deck maps that are on the boat. Now, any boat that you're on is going to be pretty big. It's like a floating hotel. That's why we love it so much and it's very luxurious. The ship that we are going on is going to be Symphony of the Seas. So depending on the information that you put in, it's going to link your cruise and your boat, and it's going to tell you everything about it. Remember, some of the features will not work unless you're on the boat. So we're going to take a look at the deck maps. So right here, you're going to click on the deck maps, and it's going to show you everything. So click where it says deck maps. And it's going to start on deck six. So let's just go back and you just go on all the way over to your left side of your screen. And we're going to click deck two. We won't go through all of the decks, but I just want to show you some of these. So deck two is usually where you get onto the boat. This is the boarding area, especially if you do excursions and things like that. Or when we're just boarding in general. All right, there's going to be elevators here. If you scroll up, it's a medical facility and another boarding area. Deck three is going to be a conference center, elevators, also some rooms, and the main dining room. So once you book your cruise and you tell them like what table you want to sit at, meaning what size table, I should say. If you want a large table like, where like it's multiple guests or you really don't care who you're sitting with and you're interested in meeting new people, um, they'll put you with those guests. If you want something more of an intimate setting where it's just you two or just you and your family, you can put that on there as well. But it'll tell you which dining room floor you need to go to in order to uh, eat dinner for the day. Deck four 
It's going to have a couple of things. And remember, this is Symphony of the Sea, so yours will probably look different. There's the Royal Theater. Also, let me just say this. Make sure you book your entertainment early because if you don't, it will be hard for you to get seats. Entertainment is going to be like the Royal Theater. If you want to go ice skating, if you want to do anything that's going to be under the entertainment tab that's under the RoyalCaribbean.com website, you need to book it early. So what will happen is they won't list the entertainment until about 60 days uh, close when you're 60 days out from your cruise. We are like 107 days out, so it's not going to be listed at this time. There's a Casino Royal and then also another dining room. If you've been on a cruise before, you know that it's multiple levels to the dining room. So that's why you see it on deck three, four, and probably deck five as well. Yep, deck five goes straight to the dining room. And this is where it's going to be some food there. Sorrento's Pizza, we like that. Cafe Promenade, that's where you're going to get your coffee at in the morning. Guest services, if you need to ask them about your bill or book something. And then the Rising Tide Bar is going to be the bar that you get on. And they serve drinks and then the, the actual bar itself raises up and down. So that's going to be kind of fun. If you've never experienced a Bionic Bar, that's fun as well. We went on Ovation of the Seas when we went to Hawaii. So this was fun to look at. It's the robotic arm that you see on the Royal Caribbean commercials. And it actually makes a drink for you. It'll shake it up and everything. So definitely try that. And that's it for Deck 5. Deck 6 is going to be the Boardwalk. This is a pretty big ship. The Boardwalk, there's a carousel. The Doghouse Boardwalk, where they sell the hot dogs. Our favorite is going to be Johnny Rockets. And then the Aqua Theater. So let me just tell you a little bit about the Aqua Theater. With this... I don't believe you have to have tickets to it or we didn't last time we went on the boat. We went on Oasis of the Sea and we didn't have to have tickets to it. But what we did instead was we didn't really want to, we wanted to make sure that we could actually see the show. So our room is on deck 14 this time, I believe, To and we're able, at the back of the boat where this is overlooking, so we're able to see the show either from our room, balcony, or we can actually go to the Aqua Theater. So just make sure you keep that in mind when you're booking your room. And let's go to deck 14. I can't remember our room um, number, but it is on this floor because I always get it near the card room. The card room is where you can play cards. Um, I think it's the same as the library unless they've separated the two. You can do board games. You can play tic-tac-toe. It's really quiet and peaceful and things like that. So we like to do that sometimes when we're at sea for the day. We'll go in and play Scrabble, Monopoly, you know, just to kind of relax and just kind of have some intimate time. Deck 17, Coastal Kitchen, the Suites Lounge. So if you have a suite, this is where your rooms are going to be. You have your own suite deck bar and the water slides. Okay, so we, we're back to the main page where we are. Remember, we're still under the ship icon. So we saw the deck maps. Now, down here at the bottom, you're going to see all these other icons. So let's click on activities first. This is basically like a cruise compass. It's going to show you the activities and the uh, venues. So like I said, the card room is on deck 14. The carousel is on deck six. So if you're trying to find where you need to go because these ships are so large, this is just an easier way to do it. They also have the electronic maps that are usually located near the elevators and that'll help you find things as well. See, there's the ultimate abyss. And let's say we want to find out about this. Let's click on the ultimate abyss. It's on deck 16 aft and it gives you a schedule. Just click on your short show more and it's just different times and things like that uh, depending on the days that we want to go and there's rules you have to be at least uh three feet since six inches tall and no more than 330 pounds and basically this is supposed to be a tall water slide so we may do this our motto on vacation is hashtag don't lose your teeth so this seems to be pretty safe i may do it at least once all right, so we're backing out of that, and then they have the zip line, which seems like that would be fun. 
There's the times there that it's going to be open. And kids have to be at least six years old. 12 year, 12 year, six years old, six year old children and 12 years old and under must be supervised by a parent or guardian. So you can't send them up there by themselves. At least 75 pounds, no more than 275 pounds. So that should be fun. Click on events. There's going to be more that should be updated under this events tab when we get on the boat. Click on your dining. This is just going to show you various restaurants. There's your main dining. Shows you the dining room. Under bars and lounges, it's going to show you where you can get a quick drink at. Let's say you go to one bar and it's really, really packed or full, which is usually by the pool. Uh, people are trying to drink and relax near the pool, but you can go inside to get something to drink. And don't forget to test out that bionic bar. And it's going to give the hours that it's going to be open and it's open until midnight. So yeah, that's going to be good. Coffee and snacks. So sometimes the restaurants are closed, but you can always get a snack somewhere. And I did learn something when I was on another boat. I had purchased a coffee cart, which is good for, I think, 15 coffees. And we were only on there for like four days. So I didn't use all of them, but the person that was uh, helping me, she said, oh, you know, you can use this on any Roy Caribbean boat. And I didn't know that. So I do still have a few punches left. So I will definitely use them. The beverage station. So, you know, when you get the purchase of Royal Caribbean cup or the drink package, it's going to just show you where you can get beverages from. And then Coco K. They don't have anything on here yet, but there are some complimentary dining areas on Coco K and also some that are a la carte. So they will have this uploaded by the time we get on the boat. Entertain is just going to show you various things that you can do while you're on the boat. Studio B is the ice skating rink. Full long pants and socks are required. And this is good to know before you get on the boat so that you'll know what to bring. All right, and then there are the shops, just various locations. They have some beautiful art always on the boat. Uh, if you wanna do some shopping for jewelry, the picture studio, you do want to know where this is because you can set up a time to do like a photo shoot and you can also go in and look at your pictures that they're taking throughout the week and go in and choose them. If it's a formal night and you didn't bring a tuxedo or a suit, you can do a tuxedo rental. Then there are shore excursions and it has, it doesn't have a lot of things listed, but in order to book an excursion, if you don't do it before you get on the boat, you can go to deck six, which is located in the midship and you can book excursions there. They also have a kiosk that you can do it at. I would highly recommend that you book your excursions before you get on the boat because that's when they offer discounts. And we have not booked anything for Jamaica, so I don't know if that's why this is coming up. So that's the only one we haven't booked anything for. Perfect Day at Coco K should have a whole lot more things on here. And it probably will be once we get on the boat. There's a spa and it's telling you where it's located. And I'm definitely going to go there. I may just do a massage one day or I may just get the package. All right, there's a running track and it's on deck five. We tend to try to do a mile or two a day because we're eating so much on the ship. And then there's also the fitness center. The fitness center is usually packed when we get on every day because you have people that are dedicated to work out. We just act like we're dedicated. We just want to be a little healthy. But um, once we go in there, it's usually people, are, all of the machines and things like that are taken up. It's good to know that they're open from six to one most days. So that's good. And the last icon is going to be services. So if you need help with anything, the ATM, the conference center, food and beverage. So let's say you want to order like uh, food services to come to your room, things like that. I don't know. This isn't the one because it says 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And room services is longer than that. 
But anything you need help with, take advantage of the laundry service. So when you get back home, you don't have to do any laundry. It's already done for you. Next Cruise will offer you a discount if you go ahead and book your cruise while you're on the ship. There's also a photo kiosk where, again, you can go in and look at your pictures and select the ones you want. Royal Caribbean Online is available. Let's say you need to use a laptop, but you didn't bring one. This one will be available for you for a fee. And then there's a room at sea. You can order the package so you're able to stay connected while you're on your cruise. So these are just some little fun things to look at um, while you're on there and you have it handy all the time. So you don't have to leave out of your room to go and find out, you know, where dinner is going to be at. You have this available to you and it's also available on your TV, I believe. Okay, next. So we're back to the main screen. Next, we're going to take a look at the, it's going to be the middle middle one, which is going to be the calendar. So let me just try to move this out of the way. This right here icon we're going to look at. So click on that. And this is going to basically give you your itinerary. So it has the daily planner and then your personal calendar. So if you scroll up, right now it doesn't show anything because the cruise is 107 or 106 days away. So at the bottom down here, it's going to show you the days and how many days you're going to be on there. This is similar again to the cruise compass. It's going to just show you different things. If you've already booked something, it will show. So like on day four, we're going to a port. We're going to be in Labadee and we've already booked the wave runners. So he's going to drive and I'll be the passenger and we book for 1130. Day five. The app is key when we're at sea, so it's an at sea day. Day six, this is going to be at Coco Cay, and we have already reserved the Thrill Water Park for the whole day, and it starts at 8 a.m. And then day seven is going to be us leaving the boat. So if you click up here to my calendar, scroll back over to day one, it's similar. It's just going to show you all the things that you have planned for that day. Anything that you have planned for that day is going to be on your calendar. So see here, this is reserved for us. Okay, so that's going to be that. And then down below, well, it says hints and tips for your selling day. Let's click here. It's going to give you a little, a uh, few tips on what to pack when you're coming on your cruise. Click your see more, uh, casual evening, formal wear. And I think we're seven days. So it's two formal nights, any type of medications you're going to need. Don't forget your sunscreen, your, uh, cameras. Cause you do want to record your vacation. Just have some memories. Are you checking your luggage items to leave at home? So certain things you're not going to be able to bring on the boat. And then there's some prohibited items. So I'm wondering if we're going to be able to bring our own waters. Usually we do. I don't know if that has changed. You cannot bring your own alcohol on the boat. I think you are able to. Yep, you can bring your own wine. But that's about it. And we're leaving out of Miami. So down here is going to be a few icons here. So let's click on the first one that says safety. So if you've been on a cruise before, you know they do the the drill and it's going to the drill is going to tell you about life jackets and what to do in case of an emergency and things like that. So I think they're going to be doing this differently. I read up on it and I think they're going to be doing it in your stateroom now. It's going to be on your TV and I think you have to certify that you've actually watched the video. So if there is an emergency, we would need to go to deck 5 in the dining room and look for area F1 and you can click here to find it on the boat. See, right there. Life jacket instructions. There's a video. There's an emergency horn. And you can play that. You can hit it. If there is an emergency, you're going to hear this sound. There's an assembly station again. Safety tips and then the do's and the don'ts. If there is an actual emergency. Now we're going to go to account. 
So it's going to uh, track what you've been spending on board. That's good to look at. When we did take our kids on the cruises when they were younger, we would give them the uh, card that they could use and just put a limit on it. And we could track what they were spending like that. So you just attach your credit card or debit card to it. And it'll come out at the end of the cruise. Next is going to be your dining. And like I said, this is going to basically duplicate what the other parts of the app did. So you're going to see different restaurants. Definitely do Chops Grill. It was very, very nice. Have not done um, 150 Central Park. We may try that. Sorrento's Pizza. We always enjoyed that. Then there's the main dining rooms again, the bars, the lounges, and the coffee. Oops, I think we went back too far. Okay, and then this is something new. This is going to be a key. So it allows you to enable a digital key feature. So if you want the key to be on your phone, you can do that. You can enable or hit no thanks. And it's not working as of yet, so we won't do that. There's different games that they have that are uploaded on here. So you would need to connect to the ship's Wi-Fi and play some games if you like. And then this one is also new. Want x-ray visions? You would have to connect to the ship's Wi-Fi. And then it's probably going to be just some fun little things you can look at around the boat. So that's going to be it for this little icon. Next, we're going to go to the person. Okay, so this is just going to tell you about yourself and what you have, like what status you are. So we're at diamond status. We have 82 points. You can go to your profile, account information, digital key, terms and services, things like that. You can also sign out at the bottom. Now, this is going to be Symphony of the Seas. It tells the dates that we're going. It's a six-night Western Caribbean cruise. You can add a different sailing if it's something else. This is all we have reserved right now. So eventually that will change because we're going to book more cruises. And this tells um, our names, our stateroom, the muster station, and what we have reserved. We have reserved a three-night dining package. So we can pick any three nights that we're going to be going to the specialty restaurants. We've done the, we are doing the um, Wave Jet Tour in Labadee. And then the Thrill Water Park. So on day five, it says no reservation. So we definitely have to book something. So it shows three excursions. Nothing for the spa. Nothing for fitness. So we definitely would need to reserve something. And then it shows the uh, My Time Dining, which is what we signed up for. I like to eat a little bit early, as early as possible, probably like 5.30 when they first open because the food is fresh. And also, we like to do a snack. So if we eat at 8 o'clock, it's going to be too late for us to get a snack afterwards. So we do the 5.30 dining, and then we wait till about 7 or 8 and go get a snack somewhere, usually some ice cream. Here's the internet packages and then your onboard account. And I click in details, but it's nothing there because, of course, we're not on board. And then this will show recent charges to your account. All right. So that's all we have. So I think this is a great app to have. I love the fact that you can go in and you can actually look at the boat and just see what's on different levels. Like if you want to do the zip lining, the flow rider, the wipeout bar, all of these things. I just think it's so neat that they have this and you can just look at it for yourself. So that's going to be it for this video, and I hope you guys go ahead and download the app and take advantage of it because it's great to have.